misericordia motus est. He was moved with mercy. These are words from St. Luke's Gospel, when the father of the prodigal son receives back his wayward child. It is this same mercy that is so desperately needed in our world today and is so readily dispensed by the Fathers of Mercy, a religious congregation of itinerant missionary preachers. Pope John Paul II said, we are living at the time of the greatest battle between good and evil that the world has ever known. And he said the worst thing about this battle is that the vast majority of the people on the face of the earth don't even know that it's going on. Good and dedicated men, therefore, are needed now more than ever to proclaim Christ's message of truth and to call souls back to God so that they may have a share in eternal life. The Fathers of Mercy are missionary preachers and we are called to bring the mercy of God to humanity. We, the priests of the Fathers of Mercy, perform this work of re-evangelization through our primary apostolate of preaching parish missions and devotions, directing retreats, and staffing rural parishes. The Fathers of Mercy were founded in France by Father Jean-Baptiste Rosan as a band of itinerant preachers, working to re-evangelize the broken culture of France following the havoc and destruction brought about by the French Revolution. In 1808, they were invited by Joseph Cardinal Fesch, Archbishop of Lyon, to formally begin their good work of missionary preaching. By 1834, this work of Father Razan received official church approval by Pope Gregory XVI, who named the society the Priests of Mercy, placing it under the patronage of the Immaculate Conception. Several years later, the Fathers of Mercy were invited to the United States and have held a presence there ever since, eventually becoming an all-American congregation and establishing our generalate at its current location in Auburn, Kentucky. The Church's plight is no different today than when the Fathers of Mercy were founded by Father Razan in France. We seek to bring the mercy of God to the prodigal children of our own times. We are a Roman Catholic religious congregation that seeks the honor of God and the sanctification of our members through our primary apostolate of preaching parish missions, retreats, and devotions. We also assist bishops with the staffing of rural parishes. The spirit of our work emphasizes the mercy of God, particularly through the administration of the sacraments of penance and the Most Holy Eucharist. We possess a missionary spirit and zeal for the salvation of souls. We hold a special devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary, specifically under her title of the Immaculate Conception. And we profess the three vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience, which aid us in living out our life of consecration to Christ. Whether we will spend eternity with God or without Him, in happiness or in misery, in heaven or in hell, is going to depend on the moral choices that we make here and now in this life. The conquerors of the world are those who have faith that Jesus is the Son of God. The chief means by which we operate is our apostolate of preaching parish missions and retreats. Since 1997, the Fathers of Mercy have preached more than 2,200 parish missions and retreats throughout the United States, Canada, and Australia, and periodically in other countries as well, 
such as India. I like to quote Pope John Paul II who said, for the periodic spiritual renewal of the parish community, the traditional parish mission is without substitute. Our means for this task are provided by Christ himself. They are his sacraments of mercy, namely the sacraments of penance and the Most Holy Eucharist, both of which are keystones of our parish missions and retreats. You can't really make a return to Christ without the sacrament of confession. In a typical mission, the Father Mercy missionary will hear confessions between four and seven hours a day. And that's a typical mission. Ordinarily, during a parish mission, uh, you will find that uh, you will have people come to confession who have been away from the sacrament for more than 20 years, sometimes more than 30 years, 40 years. Our mission preachers spend a week in a parish at the request of a pastor or bishop. During a parish mission, the people of the parish gather each evening in their church for a series of conferences on the fundamental truths of the Catholic faith. Preach the truth in love, and people will listen and have, God willing, a conversion or at least an experience of the Holy Spirit. The standard parish mission in and of itself is usually a five-day event. Those seem to be the most popular, which begin on Sunday evening uh, after the last Mass has been preached and run all the way through Thursday evening inclusive, so those five nights, Sunday through Thursday, with Friday and half of Saturday being the travel time for the missionary to get to the next parish mission. Of the priests in the congregation, Nearly 15 of them are full-time missionaries, with more than half of the remaining priests involved indirectly in support of the parish mission apostolate, with such things as administration. Generally, our mission preachers travel an average of 25 weeks per year. I've been preaching parish missions now for the better part of 20 years. I love this apostolate. I would never want to do anything else than preach parish missions. This is an examination of conscience entitled, How to Make a Good Confession. We know the first thing that is necessary to make a really good confession is to make a good examination of conscience, and this will take you through the Ten Commandments step by step. Now, if you really want to know where you stand with the Lord, pick up one of these and read through it. And I want to tell you, if you can get through this, <laughs> if you can get through this whole thing without finding something to confess, well, then you may be getting ready for canonization. Our work of re-evangelization also extends to serving the people of God as parish priests. We especially staff those parishes that are located in rural and neglected areas. Currently, the congregation serves four parishes in the Archdiocese of Louisville, Kentucky, as well as the National Shrine of Our Lady of Good Health in New Franken, Wisconsin, which is under the jurisdiction of the Diocese of Green Bay. The Fathers of Mercy are committed to maintaining a strong sense of community life for these priests, and therefore the men stationed at these apostolates are not isolated, but rather several of them are stationed together and live in community. Currently, there are just under 10 priests placed in these locations. The generalate of our congregation is located in rural South Central Kentucky. Here, our community of just under 50 members is based. At the heart of the property is the Chapel of Divine Mercy, dedicated in 2008.
The members of the congregation unite in this chapel several times a day to maintain a strong community prayer life. We adhere to a routine daily schedule, which balances prayer, work, and recreation. We're at prayer every morning at 7. We pray the rosary. We have half an hour of meditation and of course the divine office that we pray in the mornings and then mass, uh, the uh, celebration of mass. Uh, every afternoon we have a Eucharistic holy hour and we pray the chaplet of divine mercy. In addition to prayer and spiritual reading, we also schedule time for manual labor and community recreation. In their non-traveling time, the missionaries are involved with other priestly and community responsibilities, such as hearing confessions, promoting vocations, administrative duties, grounds upkeep, and other outside work, including gardening and raising cattle. They also invest themselves in writing new talks, spiritual conferences, and homilies, and spend time in prayer and study to help maintain a strong priestly identity and spiritual life. We're looking for men who are faithful Catholic men, uh, who really desire to do God's will, and especially men who have a strong sense of having received God's mercy themselves and who want to share that with those around them. I remember um, seeing the same little black and white ad. It always said the same thing. The fathers of mercy need men to bring the mercy of God to all. It said, dedicated to the magisterium of the church and devoted to the Blessed Virgin Mary. And I said, that's for me. I entered religious life 20 years ago and I've been a priest for 15 years and a missionary for 14 years and I love it. I love being a priest. I love being a father of mercy. It is a, a wonderful way of life. As we continue to carry on a 200-year-old apostolate of leading back home the prodigal children of our own times, the Fathers of Mercy are looking for good, holy men to spread the mercy of God to all. One of the things that attracted me to the Fathers of Mercy, we're faithful to the magisterial teachings of the church and, and we, we, we love Our Lady. And those were two things that just appealed to me so much. So I, I look for that in men who, who they just want to do what the church does. Uh, they want to follow the Holy Father and they want to love the Holy Father and uh, really pass on the teachings of the church in a merciful way, in a joyful way, always preaching the truth in love. The Fathers of Mercy pride themselves in a good way, I use the word pride, in that we preach the truths of our Catholic faith right down the line with the chair of Peter. The priests in our congregation go through a rigorous formation process, including postulancy, novitiate, and profession of vows. Our postulancy varies from uh, eight weeks to six months, depending on when uh, the man joins. The novitiate is something that is required by canon law to be 365 days. And they would be novices for that one full year, and they would be in our novitiate uh, house of formation at uh, Auburn, Kentucky, under the uh, guidance and, and teaching of the novice master. And then upon finishing the novitiate, if all goes well, they'll profess their first vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience. After profession, the brothers pursue their priestly studies in both philosophy and theology at seminary. The time of formation leading to priestly ordination is usually between six and eight years. All the men would fall into formation as postulants and then novices, and then they would go off to seminary. And if they had any prior formation with regards to a theological education or philosophical training from their college years, 
uh, that would be factored in in their seminary years. Uh, but that postulancy and novitiate time, that's required for everyone who joins. The Fathers of Mercy bring the mercy of God to the people of our own times by way of preaching the divine word and administering the sacraments. That is our main goal, to help people get to heaven, especially by the emphasis of the mercy of God. And the most incredible thing in the world for me as a priest is to witness the mercy of God. And we're the Fathers of Mercy, and we get to be the instruments of mercy, and we get to witness mercy up close and personal like nobody else can ever see as priests. We live and work in a congregation that is consecrated to the Blessed Virgin Mary, loyal to the Holy Father, and faithful to the truths of our one holy Catholic and apostolic faith. Now what's the secret to being able to abandon ourselves to God's will, to totally and joyfully surrender ourselves to God's will. Well, Father Rosan gives us the answer. He says this, let us occupy ourselves with the present, abandoning the past to the mercy of God and the future to his providence, to exactly do every action, to do it in its own time, in the most perfect manner possible, and without concern for that which follows it. Direction of intention at the beginning, offering it up and giving thanks at the end, raising up the mind, tender aspirations in the course of the action, to work without looking back, to resume every day one's occupations as if one had done nothing the day before, to stir oneself up to courage every morning, to work without relaxing, to make oneself more and more pleasing to God. And then he quotes St. Luke's Gospel, do this and you will live. The secret, focus on the present moment. Forget about the past. You can't change it. It happened, it's done, it's over with. Forget it. Don't worry about the future. You can't control it anyways. You don't know what's going to happen. The devil can implant millions and millions of scenarios in your mind to make you so afraid that you won't take a step forward. One thing that we know is for sure is this very moment in our lives. God's grace is available. God's will is being made known to us. We want to convey to people the truth of God's mercy, that indeed He does constantly call them to Himself for that intimate, intimate relationship. We want to make sure that mercy remains a very, very strong focus because amidst the culture of death today, mercy is so desperately needed. Mercy, this great attribute of God. For more information about the Fathers of Mercy and our important apostolates of preaching parish missions, retreats, devotions, and staffing rural parishes, please visit our website at fathersofmercy.com.